Did Nathan upset you guys again? I heard you fighting last night. We weren't fighting. I agree with Auntie Ananya's point. Is that so? You don't even know the full story. I should go. Yeah. You want more coffee? You will step the line nicely. So, what do you want to do later? I don't know. Up to you? <laughs> you always say, up to me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do something simple. Mm -hmm. uh, watch movie, go for a walk. Okay, we watch a movie, and then we go <laughs> for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them alone. You'll be fighting a losing battle. They are living a totally different reality. If you want to convince them otherwise, you have to be in it for the long haul. Are you ready for that? Well, I guess I just have to be. Are you saying that just to give me an answer? Look, what you're seeing is the disease at work, not the person. The disease is attacking their brain. You have to be super patient with them. I get it. It's not going to happen overnight. I just want you to know what you're taking on. You can't tell them that they're wrong. You can't argue, you can't fight, you can get upset. It's going to be very frustrating. Well, I guess I just have to give it my best shot then. Or you could let them be. Wow, look at all this nice food Auntie and I got you. I have something, Maxine. It's okay if she's not hungry. Mm, this donut looks good. You want to split it with me? I don't want to. You listen to me, young lady. Do you know how lucky you are? You know there's millions of starving children in this world? Leave me alone. Millions of starving children? That sounds like a thing my mom used to say. It, it just came out, okay? That's what years of brainwashing does to you. <laughs> Look, don't worry about it. I'm sure she'll get hungry later. Ever since Emily left, she has these moods. She goes into this shell. She doesn't eat. She doesn't talk to anyone. And, like, I better go find her. Oh, you're here. Uh, yeah, I worked out a revised timeline for the GFPH IT system upgrade. I emailed it to you. Good. Good? That's all. No pad in the bag. I brought forward the deadline by two whole weeks. I saw that. Good work. Are you still angry with me? We're at work. Let's keep things professional. If you want to talk about Nathan, we can talk about him tonight. At home. Yeah. You're the boss. Let's go, Maxine. Come on. Sit down. Look, I just want you to know you can talk to Daddy about anything. Look, I get it. Life isn't fair. I know. One day things are going great, and then it's all taken away from you, and you don't understand why it has to be that way. I think she's affected by Eunice. My mom. <laughs> What's she got to do with any of this? Well, Eunice was clearly affected by what happened to Matthew, and Maxine can sense that. So if you keep giving Eunice a hard time... Oh, Maxine's gonna feel her pain? Are you kidding me? I couldn't be more serious. Look, if Maxine sees you care about Eunice, don't you think she'd respond more positively towards you? Come on, James. Is it really so hard to be nice to your own mother? Right now? Yeah. Because I'm not the son that she wants. Matthew is. Nathan and I used to be buddies. We used to hang out and do fun stuff together. Hey, don't feel bad. 
I know a lot of dads who would envy you. Well, those days are gone. Okay, you need to find your on-off switch. Okay, turn it on when you want to hang out with Nathan and off when you have to be strict with him. <laughs> turn my emotions on and off like a tap. I don't think I can do that. You have to train yourself. When Khalid behaves himself, I happily give him a treat no matter how lousy I feel. With all due respect, Nathan is 18. He knows when I'm bribing him. Hey, you are the father. Okay, Nathan needs you for money, for a roof over his head. You are in a position of strength. He should take whatever bribe that comes his way. Hi, yo. I just came from Matthew's room. How is he? Very quiet and withdrawn. I couldn't get a word out of him. Is he keeping something from me? Is his injury worse than it actually is? He wouldn't do that to you. I wish I knew what to do to make him feel better. He just lies there staring into space. Can I tell you something in confidence? Oh, Matthew is under police investigation for taking drugs. Oh my goodness! We think someone must have gotten to his food or his drink and that's how he ingested the methamphetamine. Who would do such a thing to him? Someone he put away? An ongoing case is anyone's guess. The police have to believe him. He's been on the force for 10 years. Matthew is the victim here. I think... Please, this is why he's been feeling so low. The drugging triggered everything. The aneurysm bursting the injury to his spine. None of this would have happened if not for the meth. The person I knew who could have helped him has retired and migrated to Perth. No, 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 you better not help. You know, Matt, the more you try to help, the more you'll be upset. He believes in the system. In the meantime, he lies there helpless. Who be so cruel? Ah, it's Jessica. Please don't tell me you know about the drugs. Of course. I got us lunch. Double chicken burgers, double battered, extra spicy, and extra large milkshakes. <laughs> Dude, come on, I've had a tough, tough day, okay? I don't want to think about it. I just want to take the load off and enjoy this with my son. It smells so good. Yeah, my arms are aching, buddy. Come on. Okay, but what if Auntie... Auntie and Nadia will never find out as long as we demolish these burgers right now. Yeah? Let's get down to business. Come on. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Nice. Oh, come to Papa. <laughs> mm, yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh. Wow. Mm. 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 Oh, crap, is Auntie Ananya? Auntie, Auntie. Hello? Hey, Nathan, how are you? Uh, fine. Are you studying hard? I'm studying like there's no tomorrow. How do I know you're not lying down playing computer games? Because I'm not. I'm switching to video call. A, a video call? <laughs> Hello, Auntie Nanya. What took you so long? It took long? Uh, look, my books and my laptop. Sorry, I doubted you. Uh, I better get back to... What's that on your face? 
it's uh, it's not it's nothing. Mm. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. That was a close one. Minor blip. Shall we get back to it? Yes, we shall. Yeah. <laughs> Burger blades part two, baby. Hey, we talk about the Oxley project? Sure. How's Maxine? Yeah, she's reading a book. Still refuses to eat, though. Did you try to get her to talk to you? Yes, I have broached the subject. Last thing she needs is a lecture from me. Believe me, I know. You must be referring to the Shelley way. Be strong, be tough, don't cry. It's a sign of weakness. You know when my parents got divorced? You know what they told me? They said, today is like any other day. We don't want to see any tears. That must have been so hard for you. You know what else? I was about the same age as Maxine when that happened. So am I going to tell her how to feel or how to act? No way. Well, I guess that's one thing you can thank Derek and Eunice for. <laughs> Well, to be honest, Emily leaving that made me question myself a lot. Can I be a better dad than Maxine? Can I even do this alone? I mean, am I, am I even ready to step up? I think you have. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. What are you watching? Show sure about cats. Cute. Can I show you something? Do you recognize this person? No. This is Chit Nadia, your wife. I was uh, never married. Actually, you are, and would you like to call her? Because it's been quite some time since you last spoke to her. This is the nurse. The nurse from GFPH. No, no, this is Chit Nadia. Why are you showing me this picture? Because she's your wife. Okay, wh why don't you take a closer look? Hmm? Okay. Do you recognize her? Those kittens are cute. <laughs> oh, look at that one. You're gonna pick all that up later. You understand me, Maxine? Maxine, what are you doing? Stop it. It's fun. I know you miss Uncle Adam, but there's no excuse for this behavior. You have to be strong. I'm gonna count to three. Young lady, you're asking for it. Mom, what the hell are you doing? It's okay, yeah. You better learn how to discipline your child. You hit my daughter? Who the hell do you think you are? I am doing what you should be doing. Don't you ever do that to Maxine again. She was misbehaving. It's not your right. She deserves it. Maxine was behaving like a brat. What kind of parent are you? Okay, that's it. You are banned from seeing Maxine ever again. This is the last time you're ever gonna lay eyes on her. You should leave. Are you going to discipline your daughter? Just get out of my sight. Hey. What's going on? I was doing you a favor, James. Your child was running riot. Mom, just give it a rest. Maxine, are you okay? Do you want some water? Don't you want to sit down? My bum hurts. Grandma hit me. All right, everybody on your feet. Maxine's in pain. Don't be ridiculous. Eunice, if you can dish it, you should. Fine. Maxine, can I talk to you? It's OK, you can sit down. Thank you. <laughs> you know something? It's OK to feel alone. It's happened to me before. Someone very, very close to me left me. Did she die? Hmm. She was my best friend. I miss her up until this day. I hate to be alone. I know. Everyone's dying. What do you mean? 
I'm not Adam is dead. Mookie's mom is dead. I think my mom is dead too. No, your mom's not dead. She's just gone away for a little while. She's dead. She's not coming back. Maxine, that's not true. Daddy, are you going to die? Please don't die. No, I'm not going to die. I'm going to be here for you forever. You promise? I promise. Sorry, you got a meeting, right? I'll be with you in a minute. I think you should stay and sort things out with Maxine. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, it's time to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Exhibit A, down the hatch. <laughs> Exhibit B, oh. Mm. Oh, your time is up. <laughs> hey, Dad, mm. you think I can make it from here? <laughs> it's the final shot of the game. Nathan Bala takes the shot. It's good, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> We should do this again. Yeah. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Hey, Dad, can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Ask away. Auntie Anania has been bugging me about my exams, and it's making me panic. She's making me go over stuff I've already gone over like a hundred times. And you would like me to have a word with her? Can you? Uh, just so, you know, she eases off a little. You have the financial updates for the Vietnam Beta Project? I heard there was a fight just now. Someone shouted at Maxine. No one was shouting at Maxine. Did you hear that from Sherman? <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. He thinks it's his duty to stir up gossip. Vietnam Beta Project? So Maxine is okay? Hop, we had a deal. Stay out of Maxine's life. I guess you're not ready for the meeting. Reschedule it. Hi, Chit Nadia. It's Zara again. I'm sorry to keep calling you. Can you give me a call when you're free later? No luck trying to get hold of her? Nope. You know, I showed Chit Homie a photo of Chit Nadia and he thinks she's a nurse at GFPH. Help me. Help me. Hi, Ibu. He's in his room, Ibu. Okay. You're going to go to his room? Yeah. You can't go to his room. Zara, don't do this. You're going to show me how to make rumpa for Miss Yam. Is it? Yeah, you were busy this morning. Can you show me now? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you won this round. What about next time? I can't not do anything, right? Well, I hope you've got a long list of excuses handy. Hey. Hey. Nathan, how's revisions coming along? Good. Good? Nathan? Are you done studying? I gave him the night off. You gave him the night off? What did he do to deserve that? Relax, Ananya. Okay, his head was about to explode. <gasps> oh. Has he been complaining? Huh? Did he talk you into this? I gave him the night off. You're not the CEO in this house. I'm his father. My word is final. Grandma is very sorry that she lost her temper with you. I have to learn to be more patient. I used to scold your daddy all the time. I wasn't a very nice mother. Maxine, did you know that when I was your age, Grandma and Grandpa decided to go their separate ways? I mean, I didn't know how to handle that. All of a sudden, I didn't have any parents. We left you alone all by ourselves. Well, Grandma took care of me, and Grandpa was never too far away. It was like he never left. See, he knew I was going through a tough time, and he wanted to make sure that I was okay. Just like Grandma and I want to make sure that you're okay right now. It was wrong of me to play with food. 
Maxine, I'll let you in on a secret. Many years ago, I was pregnant with a little girl. Then a sad thing happened, and I lost her. You mean she died? It hurt so much. But Grandpa tried his best to console me. But I shut him out. We were never the same after that. And we got a divorce. That's so sad. It is. It is very sad. Our family doesn't know how to deal with our emotions. We keep it inside. And we fool ourselves into believing that we're strong and we don't feel any pain. Maxine, there is no shame in showing that you are hurt. I'm so, so sorry that I hit you. Please forgive me. Okay, and I'm sorry I was naughty. Grandma loves you so much. Maxine, um, say bye to Grandma. Bye bye, Grandma. I love you. I love you too. Daddy, are you still angry with Grandma? Why can't you forgive her? Don't be silly, you haven't eaten all day. I prefer to starve. If you're trying to upset me, it won't work. Something happened yesterday. It made me realize that I was too hard on James when he was a child. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I'm not your son. Come, Matthew. Have something. Ah! <laughs> 